So what were our results? Well, you can see these were pictures of prey samples. So remember the bow constrictor is the predator and whatever it eats is the prey. And you can see some of the stuff that it ate. Here it ate an entire iguana. And over here it ate an entire bird. And over here it ate three birds. So as you can see, the boa constrictor is eating a lot of the native animals in Aruba, which is not good for that environment. Here are some other things that we saw. So sometimes we were able to get full samples where we were able to see full birds or full lizards. Sometimes we would only be able to see scales. Like here we could see the scales of a green iguana. And over here, we were only able to see maybe teeth or claws. Over here was a foot that we were able to identify. And this is what it would sometimes look like where there were just some bones and some fur. And from there, we would have to look under the microscope and try and figure out what it had eaten, which could sometimes be a little bit difficult. But like I said, again, sometimes we were able to find entire prey. So here there was an entire pet parrot. So the boa constrictor is clearly an invasive species if it's eating someone's pet parrot. Or over here, it ate a whole Aruban whiptail lizard. Now, if you remember, what else normally eats the Aruban whiptail lizard? The native Aruban island rattlesnake. So now that native species has to compete with the boa constrictor for the food that it normally eats. That is not good for the Aruban island rattlesnake because remember, the constrictor has no predators. It has nothing eating it. Now, if we look at the comparison in diet, they're pretty similar. The main difference is that the constrictor eats more birds than the rattlesnake. And that's because, as we talked about before, the constrictor will eat anything. It's a generalist, so it'll eat anything. Whereas the rattlesnake is more of a specialist. If we look at more results, these two pie charts compare the year 2000 versus the year 2014. So what happened in those 14 years is that the boa constrictor was eating more lizards in 2014 and less birds. So it only ate 29% of its diet was birds in 2014 versus 40% in 2000. So now it's eating more of the same prey as the Aruban Island rattlesnake. This is just another way of looking at it. So we can see the birds went down, whereas this blue, the lizards went up. And over here, this compares what the boa constrictor eats in gray to what the rattlesnake eats in red. And we can see the rattlesnake eats a few more mammals. They eat about the same amount of lizards and they eat, um, the rattlesnake eats less birds. So overall, one of the major reasons that the boa constrictor is considered so invasive and so bad for the native endangered species is because it's eating all of the food that the native species would normally eat. 